Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. It's hot. You just can't stop sweating. It's so hot outside today. It acted like it was going to rain a little while ago and then it pretty much went away and the sun came out and it's terribly hot. What we've got today is what I want to show you is a simple, easy way to mix sugar water without any tools and without any heat and without having to heat your water. And uh, what we're using is these are, uh, now you can use any size bag you want. These are 25 pound bags. And I got two of my five gallon buckets here that I'm gonna pour it in. You know, I cleaned it out, it's still got a little bit of water in it. So what I'm gonna do, it's very simple. It's very simple to do this way. There's no measuring. Now you can measure if you want to. If you, if you want to be that accurate, precise to the T, you can. But it, if it's close, it's, it's good enough with this because we're mixing a one-to-one -one sugar. So what I'm going to show you, if you want to measure it, go ahead and measure it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill up these buckets halfway up with sugar water, with sugar, halfway. And then, then I'm going to add the water. So let's get the bags cut and I'll show you how to do it. I'm getting my bag cut if I cut myself. Now, if you don't know what, a, what, what I mean when I say one-to-one, -one, some people may not mean or know what I mean. One-to-one -one is simply one part sugar, one part water. It's as simple as that. Uh, as it gets later on in the fall towards winter, you'll start mixing uh, a two-to-one. In case, in case people has not, hasn't heard, a, a two-to-one. So... And the reason for that is the moisture in the hive and the one to one is to encourage the queen to keep laying. It resembles more nectar. So that much of a big deal. It's really not. Like I said, this don't require any tools, any heat. It's very simple. Like I said too, and, and I know some people will probably write and, and say, it's got to be accurate and exact. Well, look, I, I don't have any problems with doing it this way because it, it works for me. But if you, wanna, if you want to be more close, then by all means measure it out. Of course now, since it's halfway, volume, and like I said, volume and weight is pretty much identical. So what I do, I just take a water hose. Simply just, simply just filling the rest way up with water. It's as simple as that. This stirs it up a lot just by doing this alone. Now if you want to add your essential oils, you can do that right to the very end and then just blast it maybe one more time so it'll kind of mix up good. Also I'll show at the end of this video, stay tuned at the end of this video, this is important for some of the people that want to see how to make these. Upper right hand corner, at the end of the video, watch when the video ends, click on the video on the upper right hand corner and it will show exactly how you can make these yourself. Very, very simple. You can get these buckets anywhere. There's some holes in the bucket and you'll know what I mean when you see the video, the, the next video. You want to stay, when you fill these up like this, you just want to stay just a little bit below those holes. I'm a big believer in essential oils because it does a lot of things. It helps present, pre prevent nosema. Uh, it's an antibacterial, antifungal because it has tea tree in it. And uh, the tea tree will also help preserve the sugar water. So if you just make pure sugar water like this and just put it out, the sun working on it, it gets hot, it'll ferment pretty quickly, but it, when you have those essential oils in there, it preserves it and, and makes it last a lot longer. You can also check out that video, I'll put one in the bottom right hand corner on how you can make your own essential oils. Or, uh, or any of these, that stuff that I'm talking about, you can also buy them at the store. So barnyardbees.com, it's up to you if you wanna make your own or if you wanna 
uh, you don't want to fool with it and you'd rather just buy it and we have it there so I just give people the option it's not that I'm making a sales pitch I don't want people to think that it's some people would prefer buying it and not have to fool with it some people don't have time to that's why I tell you okay so I got them where I need to have them filled I'm gonna stick my hand in the bottom there's a little bit the sugar didn't get mixed up in the bottom I'll just stir that around a little bit get it mixed up with my hand just make sure your you know your hands clean of course flies are terrible this year okay after you get the the sugar the sugar pretty well mixed up like that it's gonna be milky One more blast just to keep stirring it just a little bit more it's stirred up just right there it's no more on the bottom and that's all you need see how milky it is right now it's just really milky and unmixed and that's why it is and I just noticed too I, I previewed reviewed some of the video and noticed I couldn't see the buckets as I was mixing this, so I do apologize for that. But basically, all I did was put the sugar in there, and then just took this water hose blast like that down inside the sugar, simply, and that's all I did. Just that that right there, and, until it filled it up to where I wanted it. And if you can see right here, are these holes right here, and you'll see when you if you make some of these of your own. Or it, you'll see it in the video too. That's that's a, the holes I was telling you about to keep it below. Because if you go above that, of course, it'll, it'll run out. So you don't want that to happen. Now, what I do now is I get my lids. Over here's my lids. These lids here, and I've talked about this before. Uh, you can get these at Lowe's, Home Depot. They're uh, now they're just a screw-on lid. They come in two parts. This part here snaps on, and then that allows you to just screw this down like this. Just like that. Screw it down tight, and it keeps nothing can get in there. And then the, it's a lot easier to me to use these. These cost a little bit more, but you know, these things are last, these buckets are last for a couple years anyway for, as a feeder. And you can get the snap on top type they're not quite as dependable as these, and they're harder to get off and on, so this is what I prefer. Now, now here's the trick to getting this mixed up, is just to leave it here overnight. That's it. Just let it sit out here. The heat of the sun, even if there was no sun out, even if it rained, it doesn't matter. By morning, you can open it up and look in it, and it'll be clear all the way to the bottom. So that's the trick of not having to use any tools or any heat, you don't have to put it on the stove. It's not good to do that anyway because that uh, it can degrade. Anytime you burn something, you degrade it some. So you don't, in my opinion, you, you shouldn't, but if you do put it on the stove, do it at a very low heat. But this is all you gotta do. You don't have to heat it at all. No tools, you didn't have to get out a drill with a, with a paint stirrer on it. You just do that, uh, spray it with water, Put the lid on it. By morning, it's ready to go. Take it out in your beat or wherever you're going to put it. Turn it over. It's ready to go. That's about it. Simple as that. Easy uh, sugar. Now, you can do this in a small volume if you want to mix you uh, a gallon jug. Same way. Just uh, take a gallon jug, fill it up halfway with sugar, halfway with water, set it on the counter. You know, shake it up real good, set it on the counter. And uh, by morning, it's, it's ready to go. And that's about it. Just a little uh, quick tip from Barnard Bees. And don't forget, folks, uh, we still, or we will all season, of course, and all year, uh, 20, 21 packages on sale, barnyardbees.com, beekeeping equipment. Uh, our rapid feeders, don't forget about our rapid feeders. The reason we're doing open feeding now with these, we stop with the rapid feeders through time of dearth, which you see in my previous video about dearth, death and dearth in the bee yard. Uh, but don't forget about those hive top feeders. Those things work excellent when you're feeding 
throw a hive top feeder our little round rapid feeders don't forget about those and that's about it don't forget click on the little bell like and subscribe thanks for watching barnyard bees